it's me, I'm the host of the Happy Show, and I'm here today on April 21st, 2009, it's Tuesday, and the subject of today's video is Fred, that's right, Fred, the popular YouTuber who broke the 1 million subscriber mark very uh, recently, me and my pal Al Chantry, we were talking about this, Al Chantry, many of you know him as Alan Williams, now using the stage name of Al Chantry, Check him out here on YouTube and on www.alchantry.com.ning.com.ning.com. And uh, meanwhile, uh, going onward, we were talking about the popularity of this Fred person, this Fred character. It's like, why is Fred so popular? Now, don't get me wrong. I remember seeing his video a few years back uh, whenever he was part of some little troop with his friends and they had I think a different channel featuring the, the Fred videos and, and he was part of this group and Fred was just one of the many characters that they played and all this and I forget how I even became aware of this uh, video channel or what have you but I, I first saw the character there and I thought okay it's kind of a funny you know character it's, it's uh, you know kind of, kind of a nice little goofy character and I got a kick out of it uh, you know I figured well that, that was that, you know, I mean, nothing super special about it, not to slide it, but I just didn't see nothing super special, but, you know, uh, so, so I was kind of surprised when I noticed YouTube over the last however many months over this past year, uh, you would see Fred on the homepage being featured quite a bit on the rotation, and they really were doing a good job of promoting him, so it doesn't surprise me at all that he broke the one million viewer mark, because he has to be one of the people I noticed with as far as original users on YouTube that's not already a celebrity in the in the real world, quote unquote, real world, uh, like, you know, like uh, P. Diddy or whoever, he was one of the people that was from YouTube that seemed to actually get that kind of wide popularity that was also featured as frequently as he was. And so I was, I started to wonder about this, and me and Al was talking, and we know that uh, about the, the year that it said that Fred joined because I, I was looking at his profile page on YouTube and, and he said that oh he joined in 2005 October of 2005 I thought geez that's kind of early isn't it and uh, and Al told me that you know he that on there it said I guess his, his real name is Lucas Lucas Krukshank and uh, what happened was we you know he apparently has another YouTube channel just for uh, Lucas, just under the name Lucas, and that we discovered was founded in July nineteenth, two thousand five. So when Al told me that too, I said, "Wait a minute, to July? That's pretty early. This site began sometime in two thousand five. That's a pretty early date." And uh, and so I, I start thinking even further. I was like, "Well, wait a minute, Al. You know what?" Fred and Lucas are single names. You know uh, the many of us, if you tried to do your own name, like I do Matt or whatever, if you tried to do a count, you'll find out that sometime in October or generally in that area of 2005, a lot of these names were taken. Because by now, pretty much every first name uh, you can think of has been taken on YouTube, and it was taken years ago. And so I thought, wow, he was in, he was in on YouTube early enough to secure the name Fred and the name Lucas both. But the fact that you let the Lucas name was secured in July 19th of 2005, that was even more curious to me because I was like, well, wait a minute. Now, who are other people? The only other people I had really paid attention to who had single names, single first names that were taken, uh, and that was Chad and Steve. And then Joed, Joed, is how you say his name? The three founders of YouTube was jo Joed Cream. I might be mispronouncing that totally. Uh, Chad Hurley and Steve Chen. Those were the three people who founded YouTube and sold to Google about a year or so after they you know, found it and the site got popular. Well, Joe Ed, he, he first started his page in April 23rd, 2005. Chad followed in April 24th, 2005. And Steve Chen came in April 28th of 2005. They all uh, created their own channels on those, on those dates. And the first video ever put up on YouTube was by Jawed Cream. Again, I might be mispronouncing his name, but it was put on, on that April 23rd date, uh, footage of him at the zoo. Okay, so I started thinking, well, 
that's April. The, the earliest date's the 23rd of late, and, and that's like, okay, about less than four months before Lucas had his channel in 2005. It started making me wonder. I was like, okay, I want to be into weird conspiracy theories here. But what connection does Lucas or Fred, or Fred Lucas, what connection does he have with the founders of YouTube, if any? Is there a connection there? Because the site did not officially launch until December 15th, 2005. That's December, that's December 15th, 2005, it officially launched to the public. There was beta testing in May of 2005. So he could have been, and obviously wasn't, on the beta testing at some point. Now, who was chosen for the beta testing? How did they go about that? Was it uh, just totally random people out there? Was it family and friends of the founders and of the people who were employed by YouTube at that point in time? And that's what I'm kind of curious about because even though Google now owns YouTube, and there's no direct relationship between the founders anymore, that they're just they're still part of the site, still part of the company as I understand it, and they still have their YouTube channels here on YouTube. Uh, it did make me wonder, is there a connection between Lucas and the founders of YouTube? Is, would that explain why his videos were so heavily promoted? Maybe, this, maybe there's nothing to it at all. There might be absolutely nothing to it at all, but it, it just had me very curious about that, and I just thought that was an interesting topic for discussion. What do you think? And uh, does anybody know if can it shed any more light? Is is Fred connected to the YouTube founders? Is this just a bunch of hooey? Just a bunch of odd speculation? It may be. I, I just want to see what other people thought. And that's really about all for my video vlog for today. I'm Matt Hawes, and I'm saying, see ya, and yay! <laughs> oh, gotta click that button to say, b -b 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 -b